Dr. Tofano is in the house and normally you'd have to be a plastic surgeon in an operating room to dress up like this uh, but now with what's going on in the world I guess this is completely normal but I've actually been working on this for over a year and this is the most important product I've ever offered period more important than the high quality animal foods for your diet you know more important than all the advice I've given for sleep fitness, exercise, I really do think that the reduction of radiation in your environment is far more important than any other lifestyle factor. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've had dozens and dozens of clients that could not fix their health issue until they reduced the radiation. Their diet was perfect, their exercise was perfect. Basically, metal, aluminum foil, certain materials block radiation, the Wi-Fi devices like cell phones and routers, you can get silver fabric and make clothing out of it. I was lucky to find an older Russian tailor in the Bronx that you know wasn't doing so well with you know what. You know, lost all her clients. I felt kind of bad. And we've been working together to make these products. You know, I'm happy to be supporting her, trying to keep her afloat. And you know, if, if this does really well, she might actually stay in business. But uh, I guess there's no promises on that end. Two real quick things to get out of the way. Stuff like shungite. Q-Link, these blockers, interferers do not work. I'll talk about that in another video. And if you were scammed by one of those companies, just send me an email. I'll give you an additional discount on these products because they actually work. You know, putting a bottle of tanning lotion next to you while you're tanning is not going to protect you while you're in the sun. You know, those pendants, you know, you're simply wearing a rock around your neck. It's not doing anything. You know, there's a reason people spend hours and hours and hundreds of dollars building metal boxes to sleep in, aka Faraday cages. You, you know, I've done so many videos on stuff like that, you can go back and watch. Someone did mention in the comments yesterday that clothing reflects EMF, but that's absolutely not true. I've tested radiation levels in the clothing and outside of the clothing as we will today. Uh, so we have seven specific articles that I want to touch on and I think if you get five or six of these you should be protected in your everyday life and hopefully I have a bed canopy in a week or two I'm just waiting on some more materials and then in the next few months we can get paint just everything you need to block yourself and uh, since I'm offering it at such a low price Frankie boy still gonna be driving a 2001 Ford Taurus but uh, you guys will sleep a lot better and feel a lot better the, the reason I actually discovered this stuff was uh, back when I used to bartend and wait tables in New York City, I'd get headaches and stomach aches. And then when I got home, I would actually use the bathroom and I'd also feel a lot better. Uh, I didn't you know, really focus on Wi-Fi EMF at the time, but I bought a protective shirt and underwear and the stomach aches actually stopped, but I was still getting headaches, uh, you know, which you can't really block. And, and I would go into the freezer or fridge at work just for a little bit to feel better. At the time, I didn't realize that the metal lining the fridge and the freezer basically created a Faraday cage that was why my headaches went away when I went in the freezer and I felt relieved. Uh, so uh, we have on right now a men's large uh, t-shirt and a men's short and we're going to go in order of importance here and the reason the t-shirt's the most important thing is because you're blocking your vital organs from the Wi-Fi. Your digestive system, your liver, your heart for women, um, the uterus, I cannot emphasize how important it is to block your organ system. Obviously, you know, the head is very important too, but it is kind of invasive uh, to shield your head, which we'll go over. And the reason the shorts are kind of necessary is, you know, if you just have the t-shirt and there's, you know, Wi-Fi coming in, that can cause a little bit of an issue. So uh, let's take our cell phone, which is on airplane mode right now. The Wi-Fi in the environment is actually kind of high. Let me go tell my parents to turn their phones off. I swear to God, my parents are trying to kill me. My mom came in, put her pocketbook right next to me with her cell phone on. So, man, I got to get out of this house. All right. I mean, there is a little bit of Wi-Fi interference right now in my kitchen. It could be this microwave that needs to be ripped out of the wall. I don't know what it is. Uh, and it's actually going pretty high, which is not good. But I took my phone off airplane mode. It's extreme, it's flashing. I'll stick my phone to the fridge and I'll put this in my shirt. And this will go off. I don't know if you guys can see the flashing through my shirt, 
but the EMF meter is actually flashing green, which means there's literally the stupid timer. I'm losing my mind today, guys. I really am losing my mind. Zero Wi-Fi in the shirt. Absolutely zero. My organs are completely protected. The second I take it out, flashing high. In the shirt, flashing green. Take it out, no good. So I know my organs, my body, are my testicles protected too? Let's see. The boys are good. So whether you're a boy or a girl, your reproductive system will be protected. This is the most important thing. For just a hundred bucks, you will feel better than you ever had in your life. Um, the SIBO, candida, digestive issues, very important to have this type of shielding. Uh, so just with the t-shirt the and the underwear, you can effectively protect your organ systems. Now we have a bunch of other devices that are mainly associated with head protection. Um, the main one, you know, if you were gonna buy just three things from me and spend as little money as possible, this is a head cover. And you guys might think I'm crazy for wearing this. People used to look at me funny before, uh, before all this crap was going on, but now people just think I'm some type of Karen. Uh, so this is good for when I'm, I'm gonna use the phone to make a phone call. And it's also good if you don't wanna buy a Faraday cage or a whole canopy to sleep in, you can kinda of use this to protect your head. And I also wear this when I'm driving in the car. It is translucent, it is see-through. I definitely you know, don't suggest doing that. You know, We could use a couple of these and you can still see clearly, but I personally wear this when I drive in the car and my headache goes away. Now, Wi-Fi levels extremely high right now. If we put them in the hood, it's actually flashing green up by my eyes. So the meter is flashing green. Now the thing is, you want you still want the phone to be a little far away from you. Cause if the phone's if the phone's like a foot away on speaker, you're okay. If the phone is a foot away on speaker, you're okay. But if the phone is right up next to your head, you don't want that. So you still want to use speakerphone, you still want to use, you know, a little bit of distance between you and the cell phone, but this head cover is 100% effective. If you have it on like this, and the phone is about a foot away from your head, there's no Wi-Fi EMF. If you're in your car and you're driving, and there's a five grams tower pointed at your face, and you have this on, you're not getting fried at all. So the head cover, the t-shirt, the underwear, you can, you know, wear this head cover when you see fit, when you're in a high Wi-Fi environment, when you're driving and then you can wear this to bed, you'll feel like a million bucks. Now this other stuff is more for like when you can't put a head cover on and that type of stuff. Now we have the masks, which I, I think everyone should buy. I'm surprised no one else online is even selling these. Uh, it, you know, obviously this is not protecting your whole face. It protects the front of your face. And when you combine it with other things, this hood, which is designed to tuck into a shirt, you can reduce the Wi-Fi quite a bit. So we have Velcro on this. I'm not gonna do it because I'm wearing a microphone, but you can take this extra material that I put on here and you can tuck it into a t-shirt to make sure you have you know, full coverage on top. And now, you know, the Wi-Fi is high. And if we put it by our head, you know, by our brain, it, it reduces the Wi-Fi a little bit, but you know, this is obviously not as good as completely covering your head. It's, I would say it's at least 40, 50% better than nothing. What you can also do in addition to the mask and the hood is if you close the hood, which is a little uh, silly looking, but if you do that, you know, on the back, basically no Wi-Fi. So your brain is protected, but obviously, you know, you have a phone in front of your face or something pointing directly at your head. That might be a bit of an issue. So what you can do for maximum protection without covering your eyes with that head cover is you can take this bandana and you can wrap it around your head, around your forehead, tie this up. You have your face protected. You have your head protected. If you were to measure the EMF levels inside this bandana, I guarantee they are near zero. So what you're able to effectively do uh, like this is protect your brain. So you're protecting your brain, you're protecting your vital organs. You'll feel perfectly good like this. If you really wanted to, you could take a second bandana 
and uh, wrap it around your neck too. So you take two bandanas, you'd have one around your head, and you have another, you know, around your neck like this. Uh, so you actually, um, the mask is a lot more comfortable to wear around your face than the bandana, because uh, the bandana can sometimes slip off your face. But if you just did this, it's a little more protection, just maybe removing some slight gaps around the neck. I don't think that really matters too much. That's kind of all the products that we have that are what I deem somewhat necessary. And, uh, you know, we had some kind of fabric scrap, so we made like a hat. So th this is good if you don't want to have to tie a bandana around your head. And uh, we were thinking of doing baseball caps, but the reason I didn't do a baseball cap was because... I just felt as if it was wasting people's money. You know, with this hat, the back is protected kind of like even down to your neck. You have a baseball cap, it stops here and there's a large part of your head that's not being protected. One other very important thing I forgot to mention is that I almost always wear this stuff over my regular underwear and t-shirt, mainly to keep it clean. You know, I do have multiple pairs of protective clothing, uh, so that doesn't really matter as much, but you know, if you want to stay warm and, and keep the, the fabric cleaner, you can just wear your regular underwear and t-shirt um, underneath this stuff. Uh, for sizing, I have men's and women's available for the t-shirt and underwear. For the masks, we have small and medium. Uh, S is for you know children and women, medium is for men or the people with big heads. And for everything else, it's all one size. Uh, if you guys do have custom requests, uh, you can send me an email Maybe we could work something out, you know, like covers for baby carriages, children's clothing, whatever you want to do, I can make it. Uh, obviously the tailor wants to do higher volumes of stuff. Uh, but you know, let me know if you guys have any additional questions, if you want me to cover anything else. I've never seen someone prove that the clothing is completely protective. And this is a safe and sound classic Wi-Fi EMF meter. So I'm 100% confident in saying that the damaging effects of Wi-Fi radiation in your environment will be reduced by this clothing. And obviously you don't want to keep your cell phone on anyway next to you. You know, you want the phone on airplane mode. You know, you want to turn devices off around the house. Uh, we've gone over that stuff in the past and I will make an updated video about how to reduce Wi-Fi around the house. But, you know, there's still stuff like my parents using their cell phones. You know, those people that are trying to blast me from space with the satellite. You know, the neighbor with the smart meter, neighbor's router. There's a lot of stuff you can't prevent. So that that's what this is for. You know, if I go down to Frankie Strange Meet to fill orders, if I have to go to see my Russian tailor, I wear this clothing, I use this protective stuff. You know, you can't always live in a bubble. You know, that being said, I always wear this clothing pretty much 24 seven. Whenever I'm on a phone call, I always use the head cover. And you know, when those bed canopies are available, you guys can use one for your sleeping space and one for your main living space. And, and you will notice an immediate difference in using this stuff. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you can share this video on social media, let people know about this, and, uh, and, and we can make this grow into being able to provide people with these protective products. And one thing I don't really wanna talk about or mention too much is uh, you won't get sick with this stuff. So I have a feeling this video isn't gonna get that many views, but we'll see. Uh, thanks again for joining me guys. Wi-Fi shielding.com. I will see you guys for tomorrow's video.